Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cole Jasper. Um, as you know, I'm already Friday the 13th at 9 p.m. I guess for the time goes. <laughs> and uh, it's nice to talk about uh, attachment to people versus with oh, objects. <laughs> So I brought a couple of haunted items that I have on my table here, and uh, and then I'll I'll show how a person like me could be haunted. So I'm not saying I am haunted; I'm saying could be. There's a difference. So if you guys have any questions, I already put up the uh, Q and A, and always, uh, you know, if you're on a laptop or a PC or some. Um, you can send in your questions through the, um, the link there, um, uh, be part of the conversation. Who said it? And, um, and we'll try to answer your questions even after the video tonight. Um, we'll see what happens. As you know, I'm kind of pumped up because we just came from our, uh, local cemetery. I wanted to Spirit takes your shirt. Isn't that pretty? I like it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it was just me and my girlfriend. Fearless. I know, like crazy, right? Just two of us. Girls in the dark. in are so dirty. <clears throat> but we were chasing spirits. Or they were there waiting for us. I felt it. Um, gosh, when we got there, it's like... It was all peace. I mean, I mean, it wasn't like the uh the first or second time we went, and we got stuff thrown at us. <laughs> they literally kicked us out once. So uh, this time, they get gradually get a little better at letting us talk to them. So yeah, like tonight, um, I was using both the Echo Box and the uh, SP7. I might do a little sessions there too. Um, <laughs> I had to tell him I just came back a while ago, um, and uh, I asked, so I suddenly felt dizzy, you know, I'm like a sensitive, also, an empath, oh my god, I was like feeling dizzy, so I'm like, okay, how many experiences around me, and the other boss, it says seven, I'm like, okay, that explains it. <laughs> Um, yeah, they were so much better, and and they like for us to talk to them. And that's mainly what we do. So we just find a certain area where I feel drawn to, um, and we like we sit down, have a chat with spirits for a while. I mean, those times if you want to, you can walk around the cemetery, and uh, or in my case, I just go around. And see where I they uh, want me to go. Um, so I just go to this one area, and we just sit down at the bench. They have benches there, so we don't have people standing up. And that place is dark. If you guys seen my videos tonight recently, I posted them up, and you can see how dark that place is. I mean, even 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 the flashlight. I so all we have is the flashlight. Uh, I'm gonna have to bring my spotlight next time. <laughs> um, so, well, I wonder what I should do. Should I share the haunted item first? Or the, uh, explain how I, how I feel like I'm haunted. Um, whichever, I don't know, what should I do? <laughs> See, I uh, did and then, um, I think I should have shown what I have right here. Um, oops. I think I showed it earlier today. Or what? Yesterday, I will. This is the first anti, um, could be a beautiful horn. Might have used in the military at one time. I sense it was used in the military. Sometimes some people are able to, when they touch an object, they can see the, um, 
time period and see who used it, who owned it. Um, I can look more into that. How you, people in this tech object and this feel, whoever used it. <laughs> um, I don't know how this isn't mine, this is my period. I don't know where they got it. They do like the antique shop. So I think some there could be haunted antiques that you know. Um, one way to test this theory, maybe this is light up around it. And this asks, is this a haunted item? Is this a spirit attached to this horse? That was me whispering. <laughs> I should have this on. EVP is electronic voice phenomenon. Uh, you can see your spirit voice is pretty in various devices. So um, I'm going to do an EVP session because I just came from the cemetery and I specifically told them not to follow my friend, but they can follow me. You know, I'm used to it. She is just new to those honey. So I'm actually training someone. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so is there any spirit attached to this horn? Yes or no? Do any of you follow me from the cemetery? Yes or no? And of course, all you wait about 10 seconds for them to answer to so get enough energy to retake. I can't wait to get a run pod or something. Um, how many of you follow me from the cemetery? Did you hear our dogs? If you're attached to the toy, can you Play it. Or is by pay to fries? It's a lot of EVP session right now. I thank you. And then, of course, when you're done, I'm going to. Play the review over there. <coughs> Get your right click. EVP is electronic voice phenomenon. Uh, you can see your spirit voice is pretty and various devices. So, um, I'm going to EVP session because I just came from the cemetery and I specifically told them not to follow my friend, but they can follow me. You know, I'm used to it. She is just new to those honey so I'm actually training someone. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so, is there any spirit attached to this horn? Yes or no? Any of you follow me from the cemetery? Yes or no? And of course, only wait about 10 seconds for them to answer. So you get enough energy to retake. I can't wait to get a room pod or something. Um, how many of you follow me from the cemetery? Did you see here our dogs? If you're attached to the toy, can you play it? 
Whoa, I think I have four. Follow me. I'll play it again. EVP is electronic voice phenomenon. Uh, you can see your spirit voice beneath in various devices. So, um, I'm in an EVP session because I just came from a cemetery and I specifically told them not to follow my friend, but they can follow me if, you know, I'm used to it. See, it's just new to Josh Honey and someone actually training someone. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so is there any spirit attached to this horn? Yes or no? Do any of you follow me from the cemetery? Yes or no? And of course, only to wait about 10 seconds for them to answer to get enough energy to retain. I can't wait to get a room pod or something. Um, how many of you follow me from the seminary? Did you see here our dog? If you're attached to this car, can you play it? Horror's face takes his voice. It's a live EVP session right now. Look up here, if you want to hear it again, you can always um, review it on this video and comment right here in case I might miss something. Oh, excuse me, I had, I had um, like, come from work, straight from work, and then straight to ghost hunting. So I already had a long day. So it's like, like I said last time, I, I know I'm, I work by day at the grocery store. And then, um, <laughs> um, they laugh at this show. I'm going to see the EVP. Um, I'm a ghost hunter by day, and then, no, what is, no, I'm a grocery clerk by day, and a ghost hunter by night. <laughs> so, um, yeah, when I said that, she was heard it right here, and then we heard a laughter after that, so. And, uh, I wonder if, Haunted object. Um, I want to go to the next item. Uh, dolls. You know they freak me out. I don't know why I'm on one. Now I ordered another one. Her name is Emily. And uh, this one, I haven't got her yet. But this is the one I have right now. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, what do you guys think about haunted dolls? I don't know if it's phobia to it. Um, I should have looked that up. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> There's a phobia to it and clowns. <laughs> I don't like clowns either. So, yeah, what do you think? Can dolls like these? Hopefully, dolls can be haunted. So far, I'm not. I think both as much as seven she started in the top. And ooh, oh gosh, darn I look And also 
<laughs> also, um, for the spirit box, so I might do the spirit box in a minute. So, um, haunted objects like dolls. I'm sure you guys heard of the Annabelle doll, which I do not own or care to own. <laughs> um, and antique sex the horn or whatever, you know, who did have some attachments to them because it, it's like vibration. Uh, vibration on things that absorb energy from times past. Like, let's say if you want to touch a wall, uh, touch a wall, like, let me touch this wall right here. You can just touch the wall. <clears throat> And like uh, it would feel the vibration. I did a little bit, felt a little bit of vibration. Um, <clears throat> but you could do a better job if you're like at a stranger's place or more haunted locations. Um, like if there are lots of murders and suicides and whatnot, you can just feel the pain and the energy, the resonant energy on that from those. Vibrations and rocks picks up the vibrations. And I have tons of rocks, you know. I like to collect rocks. They have a source of those energy and vibrations, I feel. And uh, it can be anything, really. Money. The people use money a lot. Um, so, yeah, it should be practically anything. <laughs> oh well, I guess I've done about haunted objects, so I can go into the haunted, can people be haunted, and how, well I would say it depends, um, what are the signs, my, as in my case, I'm starting to feel that I could be haunted, <clears throat> Because you know how um uh those hunter and how to like toss spirits. And so now they're trying to reach out to me um in my dreams also. And they're becoming more vivid since I had this doll and there's another doll that does that too. I haven't got her yet, but I think because she's on her way. She's on her way and um uh, I don't know, she's in, and he has seen my dream as well. So I have to be careful. It should be warning signs. I'm going to say warning signs. I should be on it. But, it, you know, you're not able to sleep because of those. Um, you're having intense, vivid dreams like I have lately. <clears throat> Man, um, <clears throat> I was so example like today. <laughs> Sorry, water. Uh, let us see the drink water you feel drink. Um, like today, I, I woke up early this morning. And, um, so I decided, well, I can go back to sleep. <laughs> so, um, I went back to sleep, and, like, suddenly I was, did I see the orb? I felt like the orb right here. Suddenly, there was, like, um, I was in a, another time or space, I don't know, where, like, I didn't know, I do not know these people, they're always with a group of people again, should be the same group, but no, I think they're different people though, because I was looking at, um, like, it was like, I, I found with gathering, and they were looking at, I have my shop book, shop books, the size, and of course, you know, I was going through the photos and all that. <laughs> I won't show there. But, um, yeah, and that's really all I remember. But I did see a picture of a couple, a man and a woman. Um, that's really all I remember. 
I mean, I'm pretty busy that I just do it in my <laughs> And I haven't stopped shooting yet. I mean, one of my dreams I have just recently had come true, and it was a tragic accident, and that was a premonition. And, um, so anyway, I already shared that one. <laughs> Um, I dreamed that, oh, well, I'm sure. I dreamed that um, I saw a ship that sunk the ocean. It looked like a, it was a huge cargo ship, almost the size of Titanic. And um, and there were some people apparently that died on it. So, yeah, I've been having these weird, uh, weird, weird dreams and premonitions. So, this should tend the down. Do that? I guess so, because I've been having those weird dreams. Um, could it be demonet? Uh, I don't really want to label that as demonet, but I, I'm not getting any um, crisis, but I've got more. I guess I can share it <laughs> right here. I don't know if you can see that. Look, I've got a mark right here. It's been scratched like crazy. Doesn't that look like a bite? Like, I've been bitten right here. So, I felt that from uh, last night. Yeah. So, it should be intense when you're interacting with the art world. So, um, I'm trying to work with energy where I can shield myself. That's my next step. Maybe I can show you guys how I. How I'm doing that. So, but uh, yeah, looking forward to that one. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't. I'm. I don't know if I can mention her name yet, but she. I'm gonna work with her next month or so. I'm so excited. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's. She has somehow to set myself and other things too. So. Yeah. Um, so signs that people are haunted. I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> signs of people that are haunted with drew uh <clears throat> dreams, which you know I already said. And um sometimes I do hear static. Like I don't know it's weird. I can hear status through um with when I hear these um have my earphones in or I don't have to have one. And uh, it feels that too, or I mean, kind of weird. Hard to explain. Uh, <laughs> and let's see, signs you're haunted by those or spirits. Um, let's see, I was in a car with a friend suddenly. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I wanted to share this one. So I was in a car with some friends recently. And you know how spirits followed me? So I want to share this with you. It was rather embarrassing to us. <laughs> um, and this is like signs that spirits, uh, you know, that's around you. This is a good example. Come to the read what happened. Um, when I was in a car with some friends, suddenly <laughs> we smell, <laughs> we smell the awful odor. I mean, it was worse than a fart. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell it what a fart is. It, it, was, it felt, it smelled like more like rotten eggs. And, um, you know, but uh, I'm trying not to laugh. But <laughs> yeah. So um, we all smelled it. Um, and it felt like it was by me. Like, I hope they weren't blaming me for the fart. <laughs> they were thinking, thinking that. But, um, yeah, it was stronger than that. It was some kind of weird odor. Um, so, yeah, the spirits to give up, to make them give up odors. Um, <clears throat> but, and they can also give up pleasant odors like roses, perfume, you know. So that's what I've experienced lately. Uh, that's what I'm too. Signs that to be haunted. What's the story when I was? Oh, uh, yeah, even when I was a kid, when I was younger, I uh, 
He knew that I was different because I had his feelings like this is the empath. And uh, so I could feel things from the living and the dead, apparently the dead spirits. <laughs> so now I understand that I'm not so afraid anymore because of studying it and spreading to <laughs> So it's good to study things, especially paranormal. That way you won't be so afraid of, you know, spirits. <laughs> so, um, do you all want me to do a spirit session? You know, send me your questions. Anytime. I'm not afraid to ask. Um, let's see. Or oh, is it better in chat? Is anybody in chat? Let's find out. Oh, well. I'm sorry. I don't have anybody tonight. Um, where was I? Her olders. That's third sign, olders. I think so. Well, the first sign is, I think, dreams. <clears throat> Second is, um, I guess you would hear whispers, right? And uh, you hear whispers, you will hear a uh, tapping sound, knocking sound. Those could be labeled as demonic, especially if their rappings are more than like three and stuff those. I don't know. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not really an expert, but I'm still learning. You know, I like to learn as much as I can. Spirits, um, yep. Yeah, I think it's true. I'm um, reading this. Spirits are just as curious as we are. So, yeah. Especially, you know, your spirits, which which will eventually move on. So, spirits, uh, those, I think, on the other hand, cannot move on. They don't have feelings. Kind of sad, actually. So, yeah. So they told me they don't have feelings, specifically. In a couple of sessions, they told me, those don't feel. So, okay. Um, then I talked about haunted objects. Oh, I used to talk a little bit about hauntings. Um, which hauntings can manifest, uh, like, like I said, as the faint whispers, I've been hearing those, uh, or rumbling, or, you know, growls. Uh, Friend of mine, Kimberly, has those too. Hi, Kim, we miss you. And uh, yeah, I just want to shout out to my friend Kim and my other kind of friends. Hey, guys, very chasers. But uh, so yeah, I'll, yeah, um, crumbling, growls, mysterious, like I said, uh, tapping or rapping sound. <clears throat> read off my notes <laughs> and um and, and, and of course obvious demonic signs are scratches um you know if you watch those adventures they have their share of those um yeah scratches and uh and eventually procession which you know what <laughs> to experience so, um, what's the session? Because I, if I hear something like that, then I'll be like, oh, um, definitely a spirit around. If I hear whispers, and if, <laughs> if I would hear like footsteps, I haven't really heard any footsteps, but that's it's fine. Um, but if I, <laughs> I'm funny, if I hear like footsteps in the hallway, I will imagine like. Hannibal, coming up, get me. <laughs> so, all right, and I want to go into shadow people, too. Have any of you seen them? I've seen them, especially in the uh, cemeteries. 
I haven't really seen them much in our cemetery, but the most haunted ones, yes. But um, I guess um, they must come late, out later at night. So we were there after midnight. But uh, of course, not tonight. <laughs> we didn't stay too long. Oh boy, it's tired. Um, I have to poop. <laughs> Oh, I just have to do a uh, couple of sessions. So, yeah, and so finally I want to close off with um, Strange Dream and Nightly Terrors. Not, I put yes, yes, it should be haunted. I like, check it out. So, um, I don't know, you guys know about sleep paralysis. Sorry if I said it wrong. Comment below. Um, I had to read up more about it, sleep paralysis. Um, um, which may have various sensations around them, whispers, alien induction. I don't know much about that. I haven't experienced any alien inductions as far as I know, but I have seen UFOs from time to time mostly around my work area. We we're like close to a hill and all the scenes are around that hill. I don't know. <clears throat> but um let's see. I've been yeah, I've been having space dreams that people I don't know. Maybe I'll meet in the future, but I don't know them right now. <laughs> I mean we um but um um, so where was I? Yeah, people I don't know and have any recurring nightmares. Yeah, this is the second time I've had that three this week, actually. Yeah, uh, so which said to be like warning signs that a person like. This is my piece, could be um, haunted. <laughs> so, or it could just be that spirits are just trying to um, communicate and send out messages from the other side. That could just be the case. So, in the, it is our job as a medium or a ghost hunter to convey those messages to their levels. So yeah, I think I'm going to sit. I'm going to do a little bit of viewing communication. So I'm going to turn this around and maybe see if Eleanor or whoever is going to talk to us or not. Maybe in the F of us three, I use that <laughs> as the cemetery of its antennas. Um, so, bear with me, um, <laughs> sweet pizza, I'm going to do a lot, uh, it's a box, three, that's it, whoa, and then, uh, yeah, I missed the case too, it's just by, they are uh, apparently right, the, it's a box, <laughs> right, sure, you ready, it's going to be the same, this is the same setting I use, sorry, that, um, at the cemetery, I hope you guys can see that. Whoa, and it's spiky already. Yeah. Lots of spirits. Spirits here. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna, oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, hey, hold on. Hold on. Get ready to fire it up. Here we go. Hello. Do you know You know what? You need peace after that. They be you guys. Yeah, it's in the hole and back. <laughs> Told you I'd be back. Yeah. Check that out, you guys. Did any of you follow me from the cemetery tonight? 
sounded. Whoa. Who's following me from the cemetery? Yeah. How many of you did follow me today? No, you're not a scumbag. I don't mind. I love to talk to you guys. You like to talk to me? Yeah. I heard Edward. That's your name. Who else is here? Are you from the cemetery? Out of the cemetery, you know, like, you know, takes his bike. You read. Thank you. I saw that. Who did send money? Hi, viewers. Chat room is open. And also, I guess, or uh, QA. Send in your questions anytime. Can Eleanor see here? Can she talk to us, Eleanor? How old is Eleanor? How old are you? Are you three years old? Eleanor three. Are you guys sharing this? Can you guys hear me, Spirit? <laughs> Thank you for such an attention for us. I was on here to that, you guys. Are you here, Frank? Hello? Frank is here in the house. <laughs> I'm being weird. Are you back, Frank? <laughs> I'm doing a lot. Session here. Do you have any messages for your family? It's about holidays, huh? What holidays is coming up next? Thanksgiving. What's your favorite meal for Thanksgiving? 
Her hair? What about turkey? You like turkey? Mashed potatoes? Those are my favorite. Dinner rolls. Yeah. Are you looking for your mom or daddies? Who are you looking for? Do you like the lights on or off? Do you want the lights on? Okay. I don't know what Bishop. He's saying Bishop. You want me to pray for you? Look at the candle, you yeah, guys. It's crazy when I said that. Do you like me to pray for you guys? Who keeps saying my name? You know me? What am I wearing? Do you read what that says? Right, what does the bracelet say? Really, right? Okay, too. Okay, too. Yeah. We like it when you do that. Right? Are you touching the face, too? Spirit? Huh. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. Do you have any messages for the viewers out there? Who's watching them? Can you say their name? Are there eight watches? Are there eight? <laughs> All right. How many angels do I have? Do I still have three angels? All right. My friend, Charlie wants to know how many angels does she have? She has two angels? Yeah, she has two.
My first have two angels. <coughs> All right, thank you. Always use your help and protection. Appreciate it, thank you. Can you tell us, Spirit, what happened in Paris, France? So sorry what happened over there. Can you tell us what happened? What kind of attack? Yes, you have terrorist attack? At Paris? Friends? Whoa. Did you pass from that? So sorry that happened. I will pray for you though. Yes. Do you like me to stop now? Five pages or to the rest. And I'll stop. I got it. Thank you for talking to me. And I will chat with y'all later. And I will pray for you all. Alright, goodbye. Mm. So, I think you talked about it. <laughs> so, put it in there. Yeah, this is my travel speakers. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's my smaller red ones. So, pretty good. so yeah, now that you at the box, uh, three, I may be. And uh, they seem to um, talk to that better at the cemetery, so I'm going to use that more. Yeah, have that said, I'm going to end it here. Unless questions? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, um, as always, please uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, until the next video. Bye.